So when we think about the overall journey here, one of the key aspects of management is I need consistent management. Everything is beginning to get complicated at this stage. I have multiple clouds. I have, I have different types of infrastructure. I have these new types of highly distributed apps. So I want consistent management. To take us through and tell us a little bit more about this, please welcome Purnima Padmanavan. Hi, Purnima. Thank you, Rick. Hi. Purnima and I had a joke to see would I actually be able to pronounce her name correctly. And did you did. Okay? You did okay, a great good. job. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So Purnima, the challenge that we have here is we're looking for consistent management. The um, operational challenges as Tanzu Tees is growing is how do I manage all of these uh, complex microservices environment, the rapidly going uh, infrastructure I have. And the biggest challenge I have is something goes wrong. How do I quickly zone in and figure out where is the problem actually occurring? Perfect. I think yeah. we've got a great set of solutions to help here. Um, the first one is Wavefront by VMware. Wavefront gives you enterprise observability so that you can immediately troubleshoot your apps, identify the problem, and remediate it. Um, whether the apps are modern apps or traditional apps. And what Wavefront does is it pours hundreds of thousands of metrics, well, actually, million metrics per second into a data lake and then is able to rapidly pinpoint that one point of problem that is the issue. Why don't we take a look? Let's go at the demo. So right here you can see the Tanzu shopping service is having a problem. It's failing. So let's drill into it. Right within the Tanzu mission control, you can see the red metrics, and you can see that the transaction and latency are not doing well. So let's click into this particular shopping service and go into Wavefront. With Wavefront, what we have introduced new is the notion of distributed tracing. So in addition to metrics, uh, histograms, span logs, you also have distributed tracing. It pulls the connectivity of the application directly from service mesh. So you can see his shopping cart. Shopping service is dependent on pricing, but you can also see how the transaction is performing. And if you look at the latency, the problem issue is not with the shopping microservice, but it's actually with the pricing service, which is at the bottom showing the latency. So now you can switch into pricing. And right there, you can see that there is a spike in pricing latency, which we have to now figure out where it is coming from. So you've got these hundreds of queries. With Wavefront, of course, you can do the needle in a haystack, do a correlation, and within a second, you'll know the query that is problematic. At this point, I can right-click on the query, understand what it is, and send a note to the developer in a Slack channel to say, go ahead and fix it. And when they fix it, they can use VRealize code stream to check in their fixes back into the production environment. But let's also go and look at one more problem. Right there, you can see that the database I.O. wait times have gone up. And with that, you also see that the, there's a vSAN latency problem. Now, to debug infrastructure issues, we have got vRealize operations. So right from the Wavefront console, you can switch in, in context, to that specific vSAN cluster that's causing the problem. And you can see this vSAN has issues with I.O. latency. Now, in a normal scenario, you would go and tweak the knobs to see how you can maybe increase the cache size, maybe add more capacity to the cluster. But what we are introducing within VRealize Operations is a new project called Project Magna. And what Magna allows you to do is to dynamically fix these issues. Why don't we go ahead and enable Magna? You can see the KPIs have drifted down. Let us go ahead and enable Magna, and while Magna is working in the background, let me explain what's happening. With virtualization, vSphere, NSX, and vSAN, you've got a powerful set of capabilities, a lot of knobs that you can tweak to get the optimal performance. But how do you know which knobs to set for the best performance? How do you know that when you tweak the knobs for one particular application, it does not compromise another? And then how do you change it on an ongoing basis? when the performance of the application and the load characteristics are changing. Magna solves exactly for that problem. It is a perfect problem for artificial intelligence. Using reinforcement learning techniques, we, Magna constantly searches the problem space and identifies that perfect setting for that point in time. 
And as things change, it keeps changing. So why don't we refresh the screen and see what Magna has done? And as you can see, Magna has taken multiple small actions and it has brought the KPI back up automatically. This is all in your available now, okay, will be available as part of your virtualization infrastructure. If you scroll down, you can see that Magna has been manipulating many variables and one of them is a cache size. It has increased cache size when it needed more performance and released the cache when it didn't need. So Ray, what do you think? So I like very much this concept of being able to auto-tune the infrastructure. We introduced Magna, we spoke about the concept last year, but here you're beginning to see it applied in real-world products, right at the heart of the storage yes. uh, 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 infrastructure itself. So you've solved my problems in terms of making management easy. 